Hi everyone, this is Nancy again, and welcome to your second video of Connecting with Your Angels. Today I want to speak to you about guidance and what it means exactly to be guided, listening to that inner voice, the one that tells you if you should really be doing something or not. I think we've all had situations where something was telling us not to go ahead with a project, and we did anyways, and then it didn't turn out, and if they say, I knew I shouldn't have done that, that's that little voice. And for the most part, the, the even if you don't listen to that guidance in you, because we have the gift of free will, that's very important, uh, you will learn lessons from anything you go ahead with, even though that voice is telling you not to, you will get lessons from it, so all is not lost. And uh, I want to tell you more about how I was guided to do these videos, like I had mentioned in the first one, was uh, a little thing that happened to me in Costa Rica. I was there last year with my husband, and we um, kept our practice of meditating, And because I do that, it doesn't matter where I am, I still meditate. So uh, one morning, I was, uh, it was very early, I was in, still in our hotel room, I was actually reading, and I got a little voice said, you need to go meditate now. So I am, I've learned enough in the last, in these last years, when I hear this voice tell me to go meditate, do something, I do it, no questions asked. So I closed my book. And I went outside, very beautiful, warm weather, and I went outside and I sat on, on a chair and I just closed my eyes and oh, just started meditating. Within probably one minute, I saw Angel Sandalphon came to me and I was quite surprised because I had never connected with that angel before. And he is could be a little intimidating because He's so tall, he has such a strong presence, but I knew it was him, even though I had never connected with him. Angel Sandalphon is said to be the tallest um, angel of all the angels. He, they say his feet is on the earth and his head is in heaven because he's the one that will carry your prayers there for you. So for him to be in front of me, I was, I was in awe. So I sat there and, and, and the, the light was so bright. Uh, it was just, it was just amazing, but I couldn't take my eyes off of him. And, but between him and I, I saw a huge brick wall. So I, 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 I didn't understand what the message was because, you know, if, if I'm supposed to connect with you, why is that brick wall there? But yet I could see him fully and he kept his eyes exactly on it on mine and all of a sudden the the wall came just crumbling down just dis disintegrated in front of me except for maybe six inches of this just jagged brick wall that stayed on the bottom <clears throat> and I was got very taken aback so uh, then I, then he spoke without speaking. That's one thing about angels. They will speak without using their their mouth that you know what they're saying. And he said, uh, now I've taken this wall down for you. Now you have to take the rest down yourself and you will go on and teach about us. You will tell as many people as you can about us, about us and the good that we do in this world. And with that, he was gone. So um, I finished my meditation, pretty much shaken up a little bit, but still, it was it was just a beautiful thing for me. So I went in and I back to the room and I told Roy what had just happened. And it was just I was just just amazed of what I what had just just transpired. So I made a pledge there that somehow I was going to get through to. As many people as I could and I'm never here to convince anyone of anything I'm just here to share my stories and make you know let everybody decide for themselves but I know on that day when Angel Sandalphon appeared in front of me I know his message was clear so 
if ever you doubt the guidance that's being brought to you, just sit down, close your eyes and ask, ask again until you get a clear answer. That gut feeling is gone. Then you'll know what to do. So I hope this helps uh, to learn more about guidance and how important it is to listen and to hear that inner voice. Wishing you love and light to all. Have a great day.